And we want to continue our exclusive conversation this morning with Dayton Mayor Gary Leitzel. Let's head down now live to Riverscape with Dan Edwards and the mayor standing by. Ladies, thank you. And yes, a, a real international feel this weekend here at Riverscape and the, of course, Celtic Festival, the 10th annual. And talking with Dayton Mayor Gary Leitzel, you kind of had an international trip to Turkey. One, what was the purpose? And two, do you consider it successful? Uh, well, the purpose was to uh, create some kind of relationship, either culturally, educationally, and, and economic development wise, with the country of Turkey, since we have 400 families of Ahishka Turks, which are actually Russian refugees of Turkish uh, heritage. And uh, it, was, it was successful because we met with some very high level officials. We met with the governor of Bursa, mayors of various jurisdictions, and, um, and some chambers of commerce and stuff. And, that, and we've learned that the Turkish business people are chomping at the bit to establish a foothold in the United States. And they always think of uh, New York, LA, or Chicago, the big three, uh, when in fact we've got 400 families that speak their language right here in Dayton. So it was kind of a soft uh, approach to getting a foothold in the United States to expand their business. And a lot of these uh, Hishka Turks are looking for work. I mean, they're, they're very educated people, but they don't necessarily speak English. Mm -hmm. So it would be great to bring some Turkish business people over who don't speak English to employ people who, who they can communicate with. <clears throat> so. Uh, we'll see. In September, we're, we're going to see if we're going to get about 15 or 20 business people over. So, you know, We also did a report at a regional riverfront development. Where do you th think Dayton lies in, in that strategy? Well, we're, we're going to be doing the, uh, the kayaking feature right here at Riverscape and just down the, the, the way here. Um, <clears throat> in fact, they are downtown Dayton Partnerships pitching this as the last dam summer because it's the, the last summer of the low dam because it'll start coming down and, and by the end of next year they're hoping to have a lot of this completed. So, uh, I mean, we're fitting right, right in. It'll be like a seven mile stretch that you can kayak, which is uh, pretty cool because people like to kayak. And, you know, for years we've been afraid of this river because of the 1913 flood. And I think finally, we, you know, here it is over 100 years, like almost 100 years. Right. Next year will be 100 years. We're finally realizing that we need to embrace it because the system that we put in place back in 1913 or after 1913 seems to be working pretty well. So This weekend, of course, the Celtic Festival, but coming up in September, I wanted to ask you about the Downtown Dayton Revival Music Festival. Do you think that's uh, a valid vehicle to bring people down to the Dayton area like we have this weekend with the Celtic Festival? Well, I, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's going to happen on uh, September 8th and 9th. They've got, uh, I've got a little flyer here. John Legend, Train, Guided by Voices, Guster, Matt Kearney, the Ohio Players, Rusted Rue, Ra Robert Randolph and the Family Band, plus a whole host of others going on for a couple of days. Um, you know, when I was campaigning two and a half years, three years ago, uh, you know, I made the comment that we need to do things like bring the Rolling Stones here, and a lot of people left. But this is the kind of thing that we need to do because this will attract tens of thousands of people from six states to Dayton and they'll spend money. And it's a big economic development boost, you know, when people, people are here and, and, and it gives uh, people a reason to come to Dayton. And a lot of those people will come, like what they see, and they may start buying houses here. Mayor, thanks for being with us this morning. We appreciate your time. And join us tonight. I've got a special report on looking at the financial impact of the downtown Dayton Revival Music Festival. That's tonight, beginning at 5 right here on 2 News. Reporting live at Riverscape with the Mayor, Dan Edwards, 2 News Today.